What is up, everybody? It's your boy, King Boys Productions. Um, so today, um, kind of a crazy video to react to, to be honest, because, well, today I'm reacting to KSI's Creature. Um, I'm guessing it's a song, but it's crazy because KSI has been gone um, off every social media for, what has it been, like four months? He hasn't posted any videos. He hasn't, um, he hasn't tweeted. He hasn't been on Instagram. He hasn't done anything on like social media or anything to do with the internet. He hasn't done anything in a while. Um, the only thing I know from KSI that I've seen was in, in the movie Baywatch. If anyone's seen the new movie Baywatch, he actually had like a song in that movie. So I don't know if he's still working on music and stuff. I'm sure he is, but he hasn't put anything out on like YouTube or, or uh, iTunes or anything. You know, so I, I I think he took this break. I don't know exactly why. A lot of people don't exactly know why he took this break, but, you know, it makes sense because I feel like it does get stressful when you're a big YouTuber and, you know, you have, like, videos coming out all the time. Some of them do well, others don't, and you get so much hate and people go, go after you all the time on social media for no reason. For people that, like, don't even know you, you know, will go after you on Instagram or go after you on Twitter. Um, but let's just check this video and see what it's all about. So it is a song. You be going to war. Yeah. I know. What you been doing? Learning. I've been doing a lot of learning. Yeah. Yo, this looks dope, though. Like, look at this. They put a lot of effort into this video. I ain't trying to tell anybody how to live. My only advice is to love and forgive. Everybody born in this world has a gift. The lightning strikes in your life, but you'll live. Every time we grow in, they'll try snowing all of the progress that we made. made, made. Fix up, let's shot, let's come all the way back. We'll be blowing, going, stars in the bay, we're blowing in our space. They're like Tony, let them know we hit back like one punch, right? Bring a fix to the human, the way to the point of the cave. Okay. I like his little flow that he's doing here. When they blur it in your motherfucking face. When they treat you like a motherfucking crazy. This really has me like a Hobson vibe, doesn't it? Like for any of those fans, hold on. For any of you guys who are fans of Hobson, this gives me like, the way this music video is directed gives me a real like Hobson vibe. Like this is the kind of stuff like Hobson puts in his videos. Like him in like a straight jacket and about, talking about how he's like mentally crazy and how like people have caused him to go crazy. That's kind of like what I feel like this is sort of about. But. This beat is bumping though. Oh, okay. I didn't finish it. I ain't trying to tell anybody what to do. But this is how it smells when you're raised in a zoo. They teach you how to sell, how to aim, how to shoot. Then when you end up in the jail, then they'll blame it on you. That's not how I'm having it. Fuck you, I'm hijacking it. My food don't go attacking it. People, can you hear me? Said that's not how I'm having it. Fuck you, I'm hijacking it. I'm a food don't go attacking it. People, can you hear me from the front to the back? I'm a reacher like Jack. I don't care what the people say. I'ma get to take my own way, take my whole name and own it. Don't control me, you know it. I'ma kill it when you treat me like a motherfucking creep. I forgot where KSI is from. Where his like parents are from. I mean, I know he's from England, but I think his parents are from Nigeria. I think. I think. Ooh, 
he's got a new little album coming out. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. Um, that was a pretty cool song. Um, I kind of I enjoy some of his music. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna say, oh my gosh, I would sit here and bump his music all day. No, there's some of his songs that I'm just like, okay. But a lot of, there are some of his music that I really enjoy. But I also really enjoy his content as a YouTube creator. I really enjoy the stuff that he makes and his sense of humor is humorous to me. Um, like he's he's kind of a dirtier guy, and I get that that that's what that's what kind of sucks about the whole YouTube changing sort of thing is that like. A lot of these creators have to like censor themselves now in order to make money, you know? Like, so these big creators have to start censoring their videos in order to make that money that they weren't gonna, that they would have made had they not censored their video. You know, like with this whole AdSense, Adpocalypse sort of thing that they're talking about on YouTube. I mean, basically, YouTubes are earning less money for their videos because there's cursing or there's like sexual acts in them or something like that. Maybe not like a fool, but like something sexual related is put in the video then, you know, people are earning less money because uh, sponsors and ads, advertisers don't want to put their vi their ad in a video, which never really made sense to me. Look, I get that. I get what you're saying. I get what people are saying when they're like, I don't want to put my video in, I don't want to put my ad in a video of a guy swearing a, a crap ton and, and doing all this stuff, but it's like, but if that if that video gets 10 million views, that's, you know, however many times that ad plays, let's say it plays 70% of the time, that's still 7 million pe people that have seen that ad. Even if it's the same person twice, they're seeing your ad twice. So it's 7 million times that ad has been played. So I don't see why people really care that much. I mean, I understand, oh, we don't want, but, but it's like, who cares? Why, why, why does it matter that your ad is put on someone's video? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would it matter if, my, if, if I had a company... And we don't want to. We don't feel. We don't feel comfortable putting our ad on this website. I understand not putting it on like porn websites. I get that, but like to go on a YouTube video just because it has swearing in it, but people watch it. Like if you were going on like, I understand there's some content that they don't want on YouTube, like killing or um, promoting like all this violence. Like if you're promoting some sort of violence against somebody or against something. I understand that's the kind of stuff that you don't want on YouTube and you don't want the porn on YouTube. You don't want that stuff. No, I, un I totally understand. No one needs to see that. There's kids on YouTube. There's younger kids. A lot of young kids that come on YouTube and watch videos, there's no reason for them to have to see that kind of stuff. But if parents don't watch what their kids are they're doing and they want to complain that, oh my gosh, this YouTuber swears so much, well, guess what? He's a an adult who can make his own decisions and make you know, record on their camera. I'm recording on my camera right now. I can decide what I want to say on this video, and I can decide if I want to post it or not because that's what the internet is. Um, but hopefully that means KSI's back with this whole video. I mean, I know that he's basically dropping an album soon, an album or another EP. I don't know if he's like because the first one, I forgot what it was called, but it was I think it was just an EP. So I don't know if if this one what was it space. If it's an actual album, if he's dropping like a full album, and I, I hope I hope he starts going back on YouTube again, and starts posting like videos and everything, because I really enjoy his content. I think that he's very a very uh, likable person, a very humorous person, who is just good at making content. And I hope that he comes back with some new content rather than you know even if it's some of the same content he's been doing, it's still funny to me, like reacting to videos, like doing gameplays, like you know, just doing what he does on YouTube, which makes it, doing like skits, doing, I understand the fact that he's so big now, he can't just go out and do public pranks like he used to. I get that, like, that happens with every big YouTuber, it seems like. You know, like, you get so big that people are like, I know who this, I know who you are, you know? Like, I can't pull a prank on someone who's gonna come up, I can't pull a prank on the street. You know, like, KSI used to do, like, like he would walk up to random people and be like, oh, what's your favorite, blah, blah, blah. You know, People can't do that now because they all know who KSI is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling on. But um, like I said, I hope this means that more new content is coming from KSI. Hope it's more than just music. I, I enjoy his music, but I, I, I really enjoy his YouTube channel as a whole more. So I hope this means that he's back and that he's coming back with some new content. And, um, and yeah. But um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Original video in the description down below. I'm sure people are already subscribed to KSI. The dude's like one of the most subscribed channels on YouTube. 
I think he lost a lot of subscribers when he hadn't posted in three months or four months, but you know, it's whatever. But um, until next time, it's your boy King Boys Productions. Squaw.